uh, hello everyone in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to design a, a trust structure in Midas uh, gene software in a previous tutorial we uh, have uh, an, modeled and analyzed a portal steel frame now the second tutorial we want to uh, uh, conduct a uh, trust element design uh, so this is an example we can create uh, what we want uh, this is already designed uh, element and we brought in, imported to the uh, Autodesk AutoCAD. So we have this uh, Midas. You can uh, go to create a new uh, model and you can change the unit uh, as you wish. So I use kilonewton meter and there is uh, two, three way to model this. You can bring the AutoCAD file and also you can uh, create node elements but I'm going to show you the very easy way you can come to the structure here is called truss <coughs> in the truss you can select which type of truss you want so I want this kind of truss or other kind of truss you want so in case if I want this truss this is the length required is how much so I want this required length should be 12 meter now how much the height you want so this is totally <coughs> uh, 24 meters because I want to use symmetric use this one and totally. So now, so the peak uh, peak should be uh, 4.8 meter, 4.8 meter. And uh, the number of panel in this 12 meter. So we want to one, two, three, four. If I go to park here and you see one, two, three, four panel. Uh, one, two, four is in the bottom, which is panel has three meter. Now this is okay, uh, and I'm going to okay, but we couldn't define. Uh, <coughs> uh, we couldn't define the uh, materials there. Instead, we can also use here uh, and select material. Now we can go to the material and using which uh, code you want. So I use uh, ASTM. In the ASTM code, you can select the material you want. I want A36. Okay, in the section, I want this truss. The bottom should be T section, and the uh, top code also should T section, and the, uh, the other, the diagonal truss. Uh, Brassing should be uh, L section or angle section. So we have uh, two kind of section. Add. Uh, we go to the here in a T section using ACI 10. Now you can uh, select. Now this is uh, WT. Uh, you can select. Uh, this is 265. Uh, this one is uh, for uh, bottom and top cord uh, it's automatically uh, taken and uh, for uh, we go to check the angle here uh, here is the angle This is double angle and yeah this is angle and I'm going to select 230 uh, let's use uh, this one uh, we're gonna go to OK and we have two uh, section and you close it so what we're gonna do is I want to select the diagonal section I can go to here Uh, this section uh, and instead of I'm going to work here and I'm going to s drag and so now the L section is added uh, next I want to add some uh, uh, vertical uh, because there we cannot create I want to add some vertical uh, member as well so I'm going to uh, node create and here I want uh, the vertical should be also T to select here and here and here 
and this one and this one and this one uh, sometimes uh, we should uh, see uh, how uh, uh, this beam uh, configured so list this one is uh, not correct the bottom one so I want to select uh, the bottom chord uh, I want to select the bottom chord here uh, I want to rotate this by 1680 degrees uh, yeah, it's gonna save uh, design design trust uh, and now uh, here in the uh, uh, here is called uh, to call the material yeah a change parameters here uh, you can go to change parameters and uh, what I want change element parameters so what we're gonna do is we want to assign the this is the section no element local axis uh, so uh, I want to rotate this to by 118 now, now we can see uh, it's a uh, changed uh, if I go to again and it's exactly what we expected uh, what we expect, expect so this is uh, the correct way now I go back and uh, uh, create uh, the modeling is completed we're gonna create some a boundary condition and define boundary condition and I want to use this boundary condition for the uh, two uh, uh, end nodes. Uh, the second is uh, clues. If I go here and you can see here is some release, uh, some releases made. Uh, actually, uh, the top code shouldn't have any release. Uh, if I go to here, uh, properties and it's called this is release so I'm going to add this is fixed uh, so no need and the second is also I'm going to here to see this also shouldn't have any release because the top court is uh, directly fixed so the only uh, release is allowed in the in the diagonal and vertical members uh, the last one here is going to be uh, what's going on here so this also should be okay now I want to select the diagonal members the diagonal members and this is this is it so I want to assign a boundary condition here is called <coughs> uh, end beam release now what I want to do is I want to release uh, uh, I want to release moment uh, uh, Y you can see here actually this is node uh, 1 node 2 and we want to uh, this moment you can see this is moving y z across y and this is x so that should be x no zero in the both direction apply and we can see here is uh, the moment is released close and we uh, that one shouldn't be a zero and now we are uh, okay now you can see the uh, release is uh, showing in the all members. Next, <coughs> next, <coughs> we go to the load. 
and define some uh, loot cases. So the first one is date loot. Uh, which is uh, consist of uh, content of uh, consist of the uh, self load and other is life flow which is the roof load. Even you can give ask uh, roof life load, but it's okay. The life load is same. Now <clears throat> in the self weight we define this take the load as a self load minus one add and we go to the nodo loot and select all the nodes uh, uh, we actually uh, even we don't have some time load here but we want to add some loot uh, let's we want to apply a negative in a z direction negative 10 kilonewton apply and you can see here uh, this is finished so nothing else we're going to go to analysis and perform the analysis uh, yes uh, the analysis uh, successfully completed and we're going to go to the uh, results and uh, in in previous uh, video i also said uh, uh, one different bit metadata another software is the combination is uh, after the result so you can create a combination so now i'm going to give a number number one yeah i give number uh, i can call com one uh, so the com one is called active you need to add type you can just want to add not using srs or something else and this is the loot case you want to add is date loot and the factor you want I'm going to use one and the second uh, in the same combination using L or F is one now uh, the second combo com2 uh, using also active oh sorry uh, I should select steel that was general so I should give now uh, again Num uh, name com one and here is should uh, I should use serviceability design or string so mostly it's uh, using uh, string stress analysis uh, now you can select date load one and uh, live load uh, here in in the first one so live load one sorry here date load one live load one and the second one is strength stays the same combo two uh, uh, giving 1.2 and that was this should be live load and this is dead load and this is 1.6 so we created these two uh, design no clues now we're gonna go to the result and let's go to the reaction force and here is the reaction force and we want to create C from uh, date load. Oh, creating values and you can see this is the reaction force in uh, X and Y now we can go to the deformation and also uh, using the combo one combo two actually we have one more combo uh, i'm going to back to see the combo uh, which three combo oh this is uh, from general so we want to delete this one uh, this one is no need i'm gonna go to delete it so that one is deleted uh, just we have in a steel two design close and now I can go to here C2 combo 1 was 1 and we can see the deformation of this truss uh, so like this you can uh, go to the C the force uh, the from combo you can apply and this is the force actual force in these members so this member is 0 so uh, 
these are the member one is tension the green line is negative uh, this is negative so it's um, compression and this is the positive there's a tension uh, now in the part of design uh, we go to the design uh, uh, in the design we check the code which based on the which code you want to design so I want to use uh, HCL RFD okay and next I go to the uh, define the material uh, usually it's called material and you should uh, say select this material and call it edit modify okay and now uh, so this is very simple we're not considering any earthquake analysis to define some uh, extra factor so just we want to check based on this giving load so you're going to start could check now it's start to design the structure so the design the structure design is completed now it's giving so according to mem uh, property all is passed in according uh, according to the uh, members you also see all these members is passed so in case if you want to check this member you're going to connect and it's a graphic now it's giving show you uh, the calculation and uh, this is the member actual uh, member force actual force and all calculation all check and also everything is passed now you can save h1 uh, uh, so in case if you find there is some member that didn't pass you can go to recalculate and change uh, the data uh, now I can uh, it create me some uh, graphics and you can see the members uh, the ratio is the maximum ratio is 0 0.3 so which is less than one which is the acceptable uh, like this you will design and after that you can export uh, uh, export to uh, the exact file and you can uh, create all the data uh, sorry it should be uh, frame thickness center line uh, center line frame shape frame thickness everything you can check it now i can save it design trust and i go to back to uh, design trust and you know, open it Uh, now here is actually Z enter, Z enter. So this is it, and this is 3D. Now I wanna create a visual, visual, uh, visual style, and I can give a shadid. Here is. Now you can create a drafting for this one, and finally prepare result, uh, prepare the document for your client. So this is the end of tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment, and I will find time to answer you. And uh, uh, we have a series of such tutorial. In later, we will have from intermediate to advanced. See you next time.